So I think the issue of having a relatively simple task in front of you that you just keep putting off for no good reason until it becomes this thing that's like a passive aggressive ghost that haunts your home but doesn't really do anything malicious or spooky, but you do have to make direct eye contact with it every time you enter the room. I think that's a pretty universal experience for stuff like folding your laundry, emptying the dishwasher, emails, or unfinished paintings. So when I think about these paintings with that filter and knowing what I'm like as a person in general, I'm not terribly shocked that they've sat untouched for so long, but five years, really five years? Um, I scrolled back through my story archive on Instagram to try to pin down exactly how old they are and I found these. So 291 weeks ago was March of 2018. I don't have internet evidence of when I started the second one, but I do remember it being around the same time. It looks like I did go back and rework the first one a little bit. It probably wasn't too long after I started it initially. And then, um, and then they just sat and they became the ghost in my house that I had to make eye contact with. I bought this giant easel from a, an estate auction with full intent to just jump straight into being a capital P painter and I'm pretty sure these are the first and only canvases that I put on there and they've literally sat up there for over five years um, and I've moved in 2020. I took these off the easel, I packed them up, I moved everything to my new place and I stuck them right back on there and continued ignoring them for an additional three years. Um, next to this other painting up here on the wall that I did have been in 2017. Uh, but wait, <laughs> it turns out I started working on that one in 2015. So this behavior of taking multiple years to finish a relatively simple painting is not new, apparently. You know, I, I put them up there because I thought, of course, if I set them up there, I have to look at them every day and it will remind me to work on them. Did, did that strategy work? No, but then eventually yes, kind of, because here we are today, I'm actually working on them. After five years, that strategy finally worked. Um, I don't know what causes me to be like this. Feel free to armchair diagnose me in the comments, feel free. If I had to come up with an explanation for why coming back to these became more and more impossible for me over time, I think it mainly has to do with my general impatience, I guess, with painting. I typically only really like to work on a painting for one sitting. Um, you want me to work on the same painting two days in a row? More? Yuck. But I do know that that's something that definitely holds me back. Um, if I want to start making more complex and polished paintings, they're going to take longer than a couple hours. And I generally stop painting as soon as the image becomes done enough, um, but not actually done done, and then not go back to it, which ironically is also what I'm doing today. Yes, I am finally revisiting these after all this time, but I'm also finishing them in one sitting and being sort of done however they end up and then making this video and moving on. So did I really learn and grow throughout this process? Not yet, but I'm aware of the contradiction. So that has to count for something and I'm getting them off the easel. So that counts for something too, I think. I also can't find the reference photos for these anymore. So I'm really just winging it. But these cats do live with me, so I can just go look at them whenever I want. I don't have super 
high expectations for how these are going to turn out. I don't need or want them to look especially polished, which again is kind of my general philosophy with painting right now, but it also frustrates me at the same time, so it's a whole thing. I just want them to be finished enough to graduate off the easel so I can put a new empty canvas out of my huge dust collecting hoard of canvases up there and then stare at it out of the corner of my eye for a couple years before finally doing something with it. I'm joking. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't take me another five years to finish the next one. I think I'm still working through this issue of avoiding doing art if I feel like I can't do it perfectly, even though I wouldn't describe any of my art as perfect or technically really um, advanced in any way, um, even though it's something I really enjoy. I spend a lot of time avoiding it, and when you think about it, avoiding your hobby or anything else that you enjoy doing just because you feel like you're not doing it correctly is kind of weird. I mean, do I avoid playing a video game because I don't think I can play it perfectly? Yes, actually yes, <laughs> that's something I also do and something I've become aware of recently. Uh, I recently played through the Mass Effect series for the first time, um, and for anyone unfamiliar, it's the type of game where you're constantly having to make dialogue choices that often have a huge impact on the lives of your NPC friends and the world in general in the game. Like, you can make what seems like a minor decision in the first game in the series that will greatly affect the outcome of the third game in the series. And since I knew that going in, it was very stressful. So I literally had like five tabs open on my iPad next to me on the couch with all the choices and consequences and like a map of the ideal quest order so I could avoid making the wrong decision. And while I still really enjoyed it, it's, it's a great game for anyone who likes that type of gaming experience. Um, it made, made it feel more like I was completing a test rather than going on a space adventure, which it's supposed to be. And hey, listen, isn't that what art is supposed to feel like? An adventure, an exploration, creativity in general. Um, it's not supposed to be a test. So in the same way I pushed myself to fill a whole sketchbook to try to learn to stop being so precious about the paper in the sketchbook as if I was wasting the paper by drawing something not good on it. I really want to start pushing myself to stop being so precious about other mediums too. Like, it's not wasting the canvas or the paint to just sort of noodle around and do a medium painting. <laughs> the police aren't coming if you ruin a $5 canvas for Michaels with your bad painting. The canvas itself isn't sentient and it's not going to spend eternity mourning the fact that it ended up stored in the corner of your house um, with sort of a middling painting of a cat on it and not proudly hanging behind glass in a fancy museum. So that's my lesson for this video, for me and for you, if you need or want it. Just make art if you want to. If you don't want to make art, find another hobby, I guess. Video games are cool. You could crochet. I can't crochet. I can't figure it out. It drives me insane. I wish I could crochet. Um, but just try to stop doing things or stop avoiding doing things you enjoy because you're worried about not being good at them because you're denying yourself time to do something you enjoy. Anyway, here they are. Five years of hard work or more realistically, a handful of hours of medium work in two or three chunks spread out over five years. Um, I do feel pretty happy to get these finished and off the easel. I hung them up on my wall because I don't really have anything on my wall right now and it just felt kind of rude to immediately store them in the basement. 
Um, if you've noticed, <laughs> there's not a lot of footage of me painting towards the end of this video, towards the end of completing the paintings, because apparently I'm still in the process of learning to make sure I'm recording when I'm painting instead of recording when I'm not painting. Uh, in my defense, both the recording and not recording icons on the view screen are both tiny and both red. One of them should be a different color, really, I think. You know, work on that. Um, but yeah, paintings are done. N now I have to do another one, I guess. Thanks for following along with me in this video. Thanks so much for all the super kind comments so many of you left on my sketchbook video as well. Um, I'm having a lot of fun making new art and making these videos too. And um, I'm glad that so many people seem to be enjoying watching me do that. Uh, it's really encouraging and it's a little overwhelming, honestly. But yeah, thank you all. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're all having a great day. And if there's something you haven't done and you need to do, like I don't, go fold your laundry, go empty your dishwasher, and go finish a painting. Okay, bye. <laughs>